Let's move into some other ways to keep our um, lungs healthy. The first one is really pretty obvious and I don't even know, need to go into a lot of detail here. And the first suggestion that they have in, in a lot of the articles that I've read is don't smoke. The second one is exercise to breathe harder. Increase from 15 times per minute to 40 to 60 times per minute. And when you're doing that, when you're intentional about doing that, you are exercising your lungs uh, and that is very helpful. Uh, the third thing is to avoid exposure to pollutants. And indoor air is, according to the EPA, is three to five times more uh, toxic than outdoor air, actually up to a hundred times more, depending on what you have going on in your home. Um, and so I would say, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can work on cleaning your air in your, your home. You can invest in a good air filter. Uh, we just invested in a rainbow system and I'm, I can't even tell you how many ways, um, that has benefited us because there's, there's, there's just so many things that we didn't even realize or know about that we now can visualize and see that are being removed from our home. And I know that it's making a difference. Um, you know, they're talking about uh, like and, and diffusing. Diffusing, you know, I'm, I'm all about diffusing. I love diffusing essential oils into the home, which does definitely improve your air quality and improve your oxygen uptake. So uh, really get... Make a practice of diffusing daily. Um, open your windows when you can. If there's fresh air outside, we just talked about the fact that, you know, two to five times more toxic air inside your home than out typically. And so allow some fresh air to come in. I have a, um, I think both of my daughters-in-law during the winter time keep their windows cracked just a little bit, which I don't do, but I know why they do it. And it's actually a really smart uh, thing to do. So um, they talk about dusting furniture and vacuuming at least once a week. Um, I don't know how many of you are really hardcore there. I know that I wasn't, but I'm a whole lot better now. And because the rainbow system purifies our air by pulling stuff out of the air and filtering it through the water container, that's kind of doing a lot of that for me. So that's another win. Um, Avoid synthetic air fresheners and candles that expose you to additional chemicals like formaldehyde and benzene. We do not want that in our lungs. We don't want that in our home. Again, let's diffuse. Uh, keep your home as clean as you can. Mold, dust, and pet dander can get into your lungs and cause um, lung irritation. And then uh, use natural cleaning products. Uh, we do Thieves Household Cleaner for everything, all of our cleaning. Um, that we do surface cleaning, uh, uh, floor cleaning, all of that stuff. Thieves Household Cleaner is a plant-based cleaner. It is just the bomb. It smells lovely. It does an amazing job and it's healthy for you. Uh, so now we will go into the last breathing technique. And this one is really pretty simple. I don't even need to demonstrate it more than one time, I think. And it's called the four, seven, eight breathing technique. It's also known as the relaxing breath. And what it does, what it involves is breathing in for four seconds, holding for seven seconds and breathing out for eight. So you're going to breathe in through your nose you're gonna hold, and then you're gonna breathe out forcefully through your mouth. And that is um, that is another way, almost, you, there's just so many benefits that come from that deep breathing. And doing this for two to five minutes, again, uh, it's not easy to start a practice like this, but if you if you decide that this is something that you wanna do because you do wanna improve your, your lung health, the older we get, um, the more challenged our lungs become. And we have to work a little bit harder at everything when we get older. So um, this would be something that I would encourage you to do. Uh, and it seems like I have read time and time again that once you get to about the 21 days of doing something, incorporating it into your day, um, you've got a habit. And that habit hopefully will stick with you. And when you think about how quickly two to five minutes goes in a day, I think the biggest problem for a lot of us is just to sit still, be intentional, and uh, do something. Uh, so this is something that I would really love to incorporate in my life daily, and I would love to see how um, you guys are, what, what you are deciding with this as well. 
So here it goes. And I really feel like, again, I only really need to do this one time. So I'm gonna breathe in for four seconds, hold for seven, and breathe out for eight. So. A lot of benefits come from that simple exercise. And uh, a couple of minutes a day, I don't think is too much to ask.